Hey guys, Brock here from Brock Manners, and today I'm going to be doing a um, video about Brick Fair. Now there's going to be two separate videos. This is going to be about everything that I bought at Brick Fair, as you see here, and like the different cards that people gave me. And then another video is going to be about all the different models and stuff, which are just going to be like a it's going to be a um, slideshow. But some of them are really cool. Um, can't believe that you guys. Uh, if only I had the pieces. But, um, yeah, so today, like I said, I'm just going to be showing you the, um, parts. I meant the stuff that I bought. So I bought some really cool stuff now. I bought, um, Riddler, Man Bat, Beast Boy. Got a minifigure pack and got the Hiker. Then I made my own custom Killer Croc. I got a little minigun. A little sniper rifle. Yeah, I, I'm not really good with guns, but just a gun. And then armor, which you can actually hold like a Lego pistol in there. And that was from Combat Brick. Custom Lego compatible toy guns, minifigures, and model kits. The info is at combatbrick.com, and you can visit them on the web at www.combatbrick.com. Build your army. There's a website again, but some really cool stuff you could buy. There's that. Here's the other card. This is Dark Brick Studios, and he made probably one of my favorite one there, like my favorite mock there, this Batman one. That was so cool. But the so Griffin King, Lego Builder photographer. Follow him on Instagram at Dark Brick Studios, and you can email him questions and all that cool stuff. Custom mocks, reviews, photos, and more. Dark Brick Studios, just a guy. Too many Legos. Awesome card, I like that card. And yes, I'm just gonna get oh yeah, this right here. So oh here's some heads I bought, but um this so if you if you go around looking for five Poke like since Pokemon Go came out recently they're going to be um there was like a there's like fifteen of them all hidden around different displays and you gotta find them. And if you found all of them you got a free um tile with like Pokemon on it, so I decided to get this cool little phone. With Charmander and a Pokeball, but doesn't that look really detailed? Like, there's the camera right there. That's the camera button. Your items. That's the run. Your power up there. Which is a really accurate Charmander. That's a good Charmander. And it's an iPhone, as you can see. Clear brick. That was a cool one. Um. And. I'm not really gonna rem like review the official Lego minifigures. Right, like this one with man butt. I'm not gonna review these guys. Move those guys out of the way. Oh also Beast Boy came with a snake. He also came with a some handcuffs that were locked up that he was since he was locked up. Cause he came in the the Joker's fun land, I think. But um yeah, he came with these handcuffs, and I broke them in half for Killer Croc. So I'm sorry. Well, I guess if you're lucky, Beast Boy, you're free. Um, so let's look at these cool heads. I forget who made this, but the guy was really nice who gave it to us. Each of these heads were four dollars. Well, that was four dollars, and that was four dollars, and that was five dollars. Since this was a limited one that they had, I think they only had one of this. That was really cool. I. I definitely am gonna um use this guy over the official one, like the head. Here I'll show you in a minute. Hold on. Alright. So this is the original head. I just I, I'm I'm asking you guys, which one would you more, like prefer more? So this is what it looks like on the head. On the torso, and this is what this looks like on the torso. I personally like the custom one, I just think it looks really cool. Yeah, that's cool looking. Um, so yeah, this is actually my one of my this is my second, nah, this is actually my least favorite head. All of the all of these. 
My favorite is the Payday Head, which is the top one. And the, my second, of course, is the um, the Clown Goon from The Dark Knight. Move these out of the way. Um, the Payday one is just really detailed and looks from the like straight out of the game. Um, I might do an animation with that one day once I'm done with the Batman series, so that might be years away. Um, so yeah, it's just really detailed. I like that. Now I'm gonna see what it looks like with the classic Joker minifigure. I got this actually at one of the brick fairs, like the previous brick fair. One of the previous one. That was two years ago, I think. So yeah, these are definitely oh that oh that looks awesome. Oh that looks cool. And I'm guessing that's gonna look better. Yeah, that's gonna be so cool when I animate that into the series. Um Alright. So that's all that stuff here. Once again the guns. Let me move all of that stuff out of the way. Now I get onto the custom minifigure that I made. I'm trying to make a killer croc. Um, he actually has like a jacket on, which is the minifigure series um, 13. No, it, it wasn't even like a, it was just a special series, like the monster series. That's the Frankenstein. It shows a Legend of Chima head, crocodile head. It shows two hot dogs as an accessory because I don't have that much of the hot dog pieces. And this is actually $4 if you chose five pieces. So I thought it was a good deal. Um, so I just decided to do the, these the orange pants from Arkham. And yeah, I really like the handcuffs that I broke in half. That, I, that's probably my favorite part of him. Um, I'll do that or, sauce, or the sausage he has. I don't know, but, I mean, instead of sausage, I could have gotten, like, cooler, like, stuff that I don't, like, pieces I actually don't have at all. But I just decided to get some sausage, because why the heck not? Um, yeah, I th that's pretty much it. I'll just give you guys a look at the minifigures. A good look. I like this new custom back piece. Or the backpack piece. This head can go around to happy. Probably my favorite out of the series line. Out of this series. No, the banana guy. That's my favorite. Oh, yes. Here's Beast Boy. Looks really cool. Riddler. I was happy to get this version. Because he only came in one set. This version did. They haven't actually had a set with the Riddler since 2014. Hmm. Or now. But yeah, he does look cool. And of course, my favorite out of like the minifigures that I bought was Man Bat. I just really wanted Man Bat. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna be in the series. He, he probably is. Um, I know for <sighs> Beast Boy, prob most likely he's not gonna be in the series. I just wanted them because they're cool. They only come in one set. Although Man Bat is about to come up in another set for the Lego Batman movie. Um, I'll do a video on the new pictures that came out. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it, so, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm actually gonna put some links in the description for these guys, and another YouTube channel that I wanted to see, but I, I didn't know which one of them, I mean, I saw them, I just didn't really know which one, oh, sorry. I didn't really know like which one it was, and they were busy talking and all that to other people, so I was like, eh, you know what, I'll just go, but shout out to the Moose Figs, um, he's a cool YouTuber who does really awesome custom minifigures, so shout out to him, um, yeah, that pretty sure that's all the shout outs, so, like I said, oh yeah, um, subscribe to them too, subscribe, I know all of them don't have YouTube channels, but at least subscribe to the Moose Fig, because, you know, be nice guy, get it. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, thank you guys for watching. Um, see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>